Hey, what's up guys? This is Thomas, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to never say um again in three steps. At least when you're talking to camera. I can't guarantee that you'll literally never say um again. All right, step number one is the awareness phase. This is when we start the process. You're never gonna know when you say um, unless you start talking to camera in the first place. Set up a camera and talk to it for three to five minutes. Now, what this is gonna enable you to do is, during the process of talking, you're gonna realize when you're saying um. Now, this is really important because you might be one of these people who say um all the time, maybe four times in a sentence, and it's really just clogging up anything that you wanna say. You might wanna be one of these people who says um occasionally, and you still don't really like how it sounds and you just wanna get rid of it. So it's important to identify when you're saying um. The second step, you're gonna start speaking really slowly. So you're gonna make this video again, three to five minutes, and don't worry, you don't have to put this video anywhere, you don't have to put it on YouTube, you don't have to even show anyone, this is just for yourself. In the second video, you are going to speak slowly. Why are we doing this? By speaking slowly, it's gonna enable you to become very conscious of when you are saying um, and it's gonna even allow you to stop saying um. And when I say speak slowly, I mean something like this. You would need to speak maybe around this slowly in order to become aware of those times when you feel tempted to say, um, now that's gonna be really weird. You're gonna feel like a weirdo doing it. Even if, you, even if you already feel weird talking to camera, this is gonna make you feel even weirder, trust me, but it's worth it. Again, you're not gonna show anyone, so it doesn't matter. And this is gonna really start enabling you to cut out that habit. Now, you're gonna to wanna to do this a few times. Doing this once is gonna help, but doing it a few times is gonna be much better. Now, if you wanted to set yourself a little challenge, you could potentially do this every day for a week. You could, on day one, do the first exercise, speak at a normal pace. Day two, speak very slowly. Day three, speak slowly. Day four, go back to that normal pace and see if there's any change. And day five, speak slowly again, etc. Just alternate until you start realizing when you say um, and you, in, especially in the slowly days, you start cutting out that habit. Now, just before we get onto step number three, which is potentially the most important, a quick shout out to today's sponsor of this video, which is Cuts Clothing. Now, Cuts make a range of shirts such as this one that are buttery soft, they fit perfectly, and are also minimal in their design. Now, I'm a big fan of the brand because not only are they minimal, but they also have a big focus on quality, meaning that you're not gonna have to buy a new shirt every six months, every year, just because it's shrinking in the wash or stretching or the colors are fading or whatever. Cuts make clothing that is designed to last and designed to look good over years. So I'm a big fan of that brand philosophy. So if you wanna grab yourself a buttery soft and well-fitting t-shirt, sweater, or polo, feel free to head over to the Cuts website. The link in the description of this video will get you 15% off your order. Step three is to replace the um with a pause. Now, I've hinted at this in the first couple of steps. Especially when we're speaking slowly, we will naturally be pausing between every word, and this is going to allow for a natural pause rather than an um. However, what happens when we start talking quickly again? Well, not only are we now going to be more aware of our umming habit, but we're also going to be intentional now in replacing that um with a pause. Now, this brings us on to something a bit deeper, it's kind of a general mindset or general feeling towards talking to camera or even talking to people. Why do we even say um in the first place? The main reason is because we are uncomfortable with silence. And I feel like this is emphasized when we're talking to camera even more than when we're talking to people or even more potentially than when we're speaking in public in front of people. There's something about talking to camera where you're just staring into a lens that gives you no feedback at all that can make you even more nervous, especially when you know that potentially lots of people are gonna be able to see it. So to combat this, we're gonna get comfortable with the silence. Speaking slowly would have first made you uncomfortable and then after a while you get comfortable with it when you realize it's not that weird and you're just doing an exercise. When you start talking to camera at full speed, you're gonna sometimes not really know what you're saying and this is something that we really need to get over. There's gonna be points where you're gonna need one or two seconds to just collect your thoughts. There's gonna be points where you don't need to fill every sentence with a sound or a word and 
it's fine to just leave the pores. So this is one of the most important habits that we can get into when talking to camera, leaving that pause instead of saying the um. Now, this whole process, the, these three steps are all compounded by the general act of talking to camera regularly. Why? Because when we do talk to camera regularly, we get more confident and comfortable doing it. And like I said in a previous video on talking to camera, we do wanna focus on that word comfortable rather than necessarily confident. So just by practicing, we're gonna get more comfortable and then by implementing these three steps, we're gonna be specifically targeting this bad habit of saying ums, and you will be able to see results in just one or two weeks of doing this. A couple of times this year, I've opened my Talking to Camera Pro course to two different groups of people, and in each time, everyone stopped saying um around the second or third week. So that is the natural time scale for this to start happening, and you can really see real improvements within just a couple of weeks of practicing this. So I hope you got a lot out of this video. Again, the link to cuts is in the description to get your 15% off. As well as down there, you will find a talking to camera cheat sheet, which is a PDF that you can print off, put on your desk when you are talking to camera and just have a bunch of really great tips to refer to whenever you get stuck and good habits to keep in mind. All right, until next time, keep filming. Bye-bye.